Hi and welcome. So on this journey, I often hear people say to me, Kat, you're just lucky. You're just lucky. You're lucky, Kat, that you turn up every single day and do what you love. You're lucky, Kat, that this is your passion. Am I? Am I lucky? Or am I taking sovereignty? Am I understanding that this is a journey? Am I understanding? And when I say understanding, really truly is an inner standing. That I am the creator. I am the creator of my being. That the creator isn't outside of me. I get to pick and choose every single day. The thoughts that I think the feelings, the emotions, and I also get to pick how I turn up in the world, how I show up in the world. And guess what? You do too. The Twin Flame journey ignites you at every single level. That when that Kundalini activates, it activates you, not for just some, you know, Twin Flame activation, it is acting, activating you into your purpose. The Kundalini doesn't activate me different to you. The Kundalini is our life force energy. She is your energy. And she dances up the chakra system, up to the third eye, where her divine counterpart, Shiva is waiting. There is no luck in this. There is taking spiritual ownership for who we are. And you, Divine Feminine, have been activated at all levels. You are now learning. You are now learning to shed your old dense skin, just as the snake sheds its skin that resides in the base chakra. You are learning to nurture and love yourself as Mother Jaguar does. You are learning to soar like the eagle. And you are learning to listen to the delicate sound of the soul from the hummingbird. You see, all your chakra system is being ignited. And the only thing that stops it, really, that gets in the way is the ego mind. The only thing that gets in your way from creating the life that you want. And that is what this journey is about. If you're focused on the other body, if you're just focused on when your twin's coming back, when da, 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 the romantic aspect of it, you will stay looping. This journey is your awakening. This journey is way beyond just another person, you, your soul knew that you were ready. Your soul magnetized itself in. And then often people will say to me, so does everybody have a twin? Yes, but does everybody meet their twin in this lifetime? No, not everybody, because we're not at the evolutionary place for awakenings that everybody can do it. And let's face it, you know, if everybody all did it at once, <laughs> we'd be on a stormy sea. We'd be on a stormy sea. And here's the thing. You know, I talk about the lighthouse. I'm introducing the lighthouse at the moment. <clears throat> the lighthouse is you. You are the lighthouse. You are the holder of this new light frequency. And that is the thing. Twins can hold a very, very high and pure light coding and light frequency. And so you're probably saying, oh, so do I, do I need to step into Mission Cat? Do I need to step into... Not necessarily. 
You walking in a room, you vibrate a certain frequency. You don't even need to open your mouth and you are vibrating a frequency. The fact that you walk into a shop and you are pouring out this light frequency, you are changing. You are changing the planet. Now, if you want to go one further than that and go and light up the world and be that, that way shower, the way shower of the new world, the lighthouse, you know, when people are going through those storms of dark night of the soul, feeling lost with nowhere, feeling like they are drowning in that ocean and you become that lighthouse, beaming that light, going, look, I'm here. Look, I'm here. I'm beaming light out to you. And I am here to show you that it is not all darkness. You are not going to drown. I am going to hold space for you so you don't have to drown. I am not going to do the work for you. I am not going to come up and just suddenly rescue you and put you on a beautiful island with palm trees and, you know, people spraying your face, serving you fruit on a straw. I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to hold space for you. I'm going to let you find your own light. There is no luck in this. If you want this, if you want to be that way shower, if you want to create freedom, if you want to create abundance, then it's easy to do. The thing that is stopping you is the ego mind. You know, a lot of people come to me and want to start to grow a spiritual business. And sometimes they don't do it. What has stopped them? Am I any better than them? No. Is the next person that is being really successful online any better than them? No. But there is. There is a magic in this. There is a formula in this. And do you know what it is? It's been that direct lighthouse. It's been that lighthouse that stands in sovereignty, that owns everything that you are. And people may come and criticise. People may come and find fault. People may come and go, oh my goodness, you look quite naked tonight. You are here as this way shower. You are here as this light keeper. Twins hold a certain frequency. And you're here. This is not happening by chance. You are here to light up the world. You are here to birth the new world. And many twins, especially if you're early on in the journey, you'll be going to me. I don't care about that, cat. That's all really great. I'm really happy, cat, that you're doing that work. But I just want my other self. That's all I'm bothered about. If you focus on that, it will never work. You can read, you can go searching high and low. When will they come back? When is it going to happen? Do they love me? Do they love me? It's way beyond that. This journey is way beyond that. This journey is about you stepping in to your enlightenment path. You stepping out of the ego mind and starting to learn to slow your whole life down to step into sovereignty, to start to work with that Shakti Ma energy, that Kundalini energy. And guess what? When you start to do that, when you start to raise your vibration, when you start to become that light keeper, that's when this journey changes. That's when this journey changes. And then you have to learn how to do that difficult energy of balancing them back in. And when I say balancing them, I mean balancing you back in. This is not an easy journey. But the awakening journey, the awakening path is not an easy path. It feels like you're in the ocean sometimes at a stormy sea with nowhere to turn. But no, I'm that light keeper. I'm that lighthouse guiding you back to your truth 
guiding you back to your inner truth, to your inner wisdom. If you need to learn more about the twin flame journey, if you need to understand the twin flame journey, understand how to detox, understand how to balance them in, how to magnetize them back in, how to then balance them in when they do start coming in. And when I say them, I'm meaning you. How to work with the shared energetic field, then my twin flame course is there. It is there to shift this journey. It is there to give you the truth of what this journey is without any of the pink fluffy stuff, direct and straight to the point. So you know what you need to do. So you, there's nothing being hidden from you. You know, a lot of the time people will come to me and go, I know what to do, but I've got stuck at this point or we've gone back into a separation. Yeah, because you haven't done, you know, the reintroducing that balancing, that balancing stage, which is critical. You, you've you've treated it like a, a normal relationship, treat it like a normal relationship. You'll go back into another cycle of separation. A twin flame course is there. My Awakened Consciousness is my weekly Twin Flame support group where I teach the truth of the journey, guide you on the truth of the journey. And you know what? If you want to go further than that and really start to learn how you coach people, how and not coach at a life coach level, coach through awakenings, through deep soul awakenings, where people feel fallen on the floor, where their whole life, you know, they're not coming to you normally with, oh, my relationship's just falling apart. They're normally coming to you going, holy mosey, my whole life has broken apart. But guess what? The whole, your whole life breaks apart. So you can build a whole new life that is in authentic truth, who you truly are at soul level without any of those conditionings. So you can show up truly who you are. So you can light up the world. So you are doing exactly what you love and you're passionate about and you feel in pure alignment. Then my soul coaching course is there. And guess what? With the soul coaching course, I give you the soul led business course. And most light workers go, ah, you mentioned business. We don't like the word business. Well, this is the new earth and we're owning it. We're owning it in our sovereignty. There is no, okay, I'm just going to, you know, I just want to give. And I've given so much that now I need to go and get a corporate job because I can't even pay my own bills. No, this is about you being that light beamer, being that light worker, owning your light at every single level, but also being in pure abundance. So you create freedom in your life. And I'll give you the tip bit as well. I'm passionate about passive income. Passive income creates freedom. I truly, truly am. And that's what it's about, you know, being this light beamer. So we beam out the light, but we create freedom. We create abundance in our own life. So we're in that high vibration. So many light workers I, I've worked with over the years, they have a heart of gold, an absolute heart of gold. Light workers are a vibration to themselves, but sometimes, and this is the old ways, they don't stand in the sovereignty enough. They don't own their own magic enough. And in doing that, they stop shining their light because they can't afford to shine their light. New Earth is not about that. New Earth is about owning your energy at every single level and stepping into pure, abundant energy. If you need more help and support, whether it is help on Twin Flames, 
understanding twin flames, how to magnetize your twin flame back in, how to stop all that runner chaser, how to stop separation, how to bring them back in and how to balance the energy afterwards. My twin flame course is there. If you want to work with me one on one, my coaching is there. And if you really want to go and take this to the next level, then my lighthouse membership is there or my combined soul coaching and soul led business courses there. We're, we're shifting. We're, 2023 is not about playing small. It is about owning our light at every single level and being in freedom, being in abundance and being in that beautiful high vibrational light. There is no... There is no aspect of 2023 where we can take that old ego mind in of abandonment, of lack, of not being enough. Okay, I'll just play small. You know, people won't... I'm doing my bit, but I'm not really shining my light out there because what if I get a big ship that's just a bit too big for me? Or what if I get a ship full of pirates and they want to destroy me? A light so bright will will shine their light. It will burn through the pirates. It will burn through the pirates. I didn't even know what I was saying there. Anyway, <laughs> but it will. It will burn. When your light is so bright, anything low frequency will fall away. And you know what? On this journey, often people will say to me, Cat. You know, I've gone into such solitude. Thing, friends have fallen away. You know, people that I've known for years, suddenly they've disappeared out of my life. Why, Kat? Because anything that is not matching your frequency, that is not matching your vibration, will fall away. And if you are currently trying to hold on to something that is not your frequency and not your vibration... It is going to get really uncomfortable. And let me tell you, in 2023, it's going to get even more uncomfortable because we're shifting. New earth is here and new earth is created all within. And so if you're trying to hold on to that old matrix, false, false, um, false life, it's going to get really uncomfortable. Why? Because divine wants you to shift. Kali Ma wants you to shift. You know, Kundalini and Shakti Ma wants you. And everything is there moving you and pushing you into this new vibration, into this new vibration of 2023. <laughs> I hope you found this helpful. You know, my work is all about helping you align into that beamer of light. And I always say, I let people into a little secret. You know, my work is with twins. My work is to help people align with soul. But do you know what the overall, my overall work, my true work is? An earth keeper. You know, I am here as a wisdom keeper, as an earth keeper, to help transmute those light frequencies into the ley lines, into the ley lines which are the earth's pulses. They are the earth's chakra systems. And when that raises, our whole consciousness on a whole planet raises. So more and more people awaken to their truth. So the old false dense low frequency of the old earth falls away and the old earth was built on fear that is now falling away and we are shifting into this liar liar into this lighter higher i was trying to say lighter and higher together and it came out as liar um but anyway we're releasing the liar and moving into this higher frequency, this higher frequency where we we operate in a very in a very pure energy, in a love energy, in a freedom and abundant energy. I hope you found this useful. If you need more help and support, click down in the description. You will see 
details to everything, my website and everything on there, um, where you will find all a whole heap of stuff, a whole heap of stuff to help you along this journey. I send you much love. Many blessings.